Hey there, Ken McAnally, welcome back to the channel. I'm often asked what relationship there is between the stance that a golfer has and the performance of the golf ball. A traditional thinking is that a closed stance promotes a draw, an open stance promotes a fade, and, and so on. What I've got here is a classic example of a player who is making adjustments to his stance almost without realizing it and that has that it has implications for the backswing and the downswing and the ultimate performance of the ball. The golf swing is a very complicated thing. It's a complicated series of uh, interconnected movements. So where in this swing uh, does the whole system go wrong? At the top of the backswing, we see that the golf club is, is aligned well to the right of the target and also well to the right of the feet alignment that the player uh, appears to have used. On the downswing, the whole right side of his body shoots in towards the ball. Um, the hands have been thrown in, the right hip has gone forward, the right knee has gone forward, and the whole body has rotated in uh, essentially towards the ball. The whole right side has also been thrown towards the ball. The whole body structure has been thrown towards the ball and in fact the head has dropped. This results in the hands being higher and yet the person's head being lower when we compare address with impact and the club head has been thrown uh, out towards the ball. Now, this has been caused essentially by the stance of the player. Now, he starts with a good address position. Not a, no big problems with that address position at all. The alignment of the shoulders is good, the hips and the feet, and the hands are held close to the body. But he makes a series of adjustments without, perhaps without realising it. He moves away from the ball into a second address position. That's changing the club shaft angle, changing the hands, and then he moves again uh, as a third stage, rotating his body, pulling the right side of his body away from the ball, and then opening up the club face by raising his, his leading arm. As a result, the takeaway here is very, very flat and around the corner, as, it, as it's called. But what that's causing is that the club head is going round in a very wide arc, and at the top, as we see earlier, it actually goes too far and starts pointing well to the right uh, of the target. So he has an initial address. He has a second address. He has, in fact, a third address before he actually pulls the trigger and starts the backswing. Now these things by themselves are causing the problem in the top of the backswing where the club head, where the club shaft is pointing well to the right of the target, resulting in him having almost to throw the right side of the body forward uh, in order to get the club head back to the ball. A lot of this gentleman's issues, a lot of other golfers issues could be fixed by making sure that he has the correct stance. Not necessarily closed equals draw, open equals fade, but too closed a stance can result in too flat a backswing, and that can cause major problems when the, when the player is trying to return the club head back to the ball. I hope the video has been useful, and I look forward to your comments back in time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.